Hi, this video is from mtp.com. Welcome to Spring MVC tutorial. In the previous video, we were talking about view resolver. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is servlet mapping in Spring MVC. What is a servlet mapping in Spring MVC? Servlet mapping specifies which Java servlet should be invoked for a URL given by the client. It maps URL pattern to the servlet. So whenever in the browser, whenever you give a URL, which servlet should be invoked? When there is a request from a client, servlet container decides to which application it should forward to. Servlets should be registered with servlet container. I will be showing in the code how exactly we are registering the servlet with the servlet container. To register, you should add entries in the web, web deployment descriptor. In the latest Spring framework, you don't have to use web.xml file. You can use within a Java class. You can register the servlet mapping. In the earlier, earlier versions, you have to use a XML file, web.xml file, and it is located in the web inf directory in the web application. So here, if you see, there will be a servlet mapping tag, and you can map the name, servlet name, and the URL pattern. Okay, so it says whenever, whenever a request comes like this, you it ends with hotel and with uh, any any string, it has to go to hotel servlet servlet name. Okay, but in the latest version, you don't have to use XML file. In the Java code only, you can do it. I'll show you the Java code now. So this is this is the initializer. This is the initializer and uh, it implements web application initializer and there is a method called on startup where the tomcat is going to call this method okay tomcat will call this method and we are going to create annotation config application context and we have to give the config class if you so if you go to this class it will have all the beans spring beans if you see here enable webmc all related to spring beans it will be it will be having it so what will happen tomcats will call this on stop method on startup method and we are going to create all the beans uh, spring application context will be created okay so if you see here this is the annotation so this will create the spring context spring application context okay then we are going to add this so this is the place where we are avoiding the XML file so using these three lines of code you can register your servlet mapping so this is the servlet I'm going to create so this is the servlet from the spring framework if you see here then I'm going to add to the context and I'm going to add the mapping so this indicates that I'll show you the line so this line indicates that so whenever a request comes whenever a request triggered using this URL it will be sent to this dispatch servlet so dispatch servlet will automatically find out what is the controller I'll show you the controller also then you'll understand so dispatch servlet using the URL pattern it will try to find out which controller it should go So if the control if the if the pattern has interview still here and next to that if it contains hotel it will try to find out the mapping is slash hotel and it will try to find out this controller and it will pass the request to this controller hotel controller if the request has it does not have anything okay if it has index directly it has if it has index it will come here this method will be invoked okay so this is how the servlet mapping we are able to register in the initializer class so just want to say repeat any uh, servlet mapping specifies which java servlet should be invoked based on the url that is given in the browser so we are registered we are able to register the serve dispatch servlet in the servlet context and we are able to add the URL pattern also. 
hope this video is useful in the next video we can see what is URL pattern in detail thank you and all the best